Welcome to Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the top lessons from the science of happiness by Stefan Klein. If you're ready to unlock the secrets within this book and gain valuable insights, let's dive right in. Lesson 1. Cultivate Gratitude. Practice daily gratitude exercises to shift your focus towards the positive aspects of your life. In order to cultivate gratitude and shift your focus towards the positive aspects of your life, it is important to practice daily gratitude exercises. These exercises involve consciously acknowledging and appreciating the things you are grateful for. By doing so, you train your mind to notice and appreciate the positive aspects of your life, which can lead to increased happiness and overall well-being. One way to practice daily gratitude exercises is by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few minutes to write down three things you are grateful for. These can be big or small, such as a beautiful sunset, a kind gesture from a friend, or a delicious meal. By regularly reflecting on the positive aspects of your life, you begin to develop a habit of gratitude and become more aware of the abundance around you. Another gratitude exercise is to express gratitude to others. Take the time to thank someone who has made a positive impact on your life whether it's a family member, friend, or colleague. This not only strengthens your relationships but also reinforces the positive aspects of your life. Additionally, you can practice gratitude by focusing on the present moment. Take a few minutes each day to simply observe and appreciate your surroundings. Notice the beauty in nature, the warmth of the sun on your skin, or the taste of your morning coffee. By being fully present and mindful, you can cultivate a sense of gratitude for the simple pleasures in life. By consistently practicing gratitude exercises, you train your mind to shift its focus towards the positive aspects of your life. This can lead to increased happiness, improved relationships, and a greater overall sense of well-being. So, take a moment each day to cultivate gratitude and embrace the positive aspects of your life. Lesson 2. Foster Social Connections Invest time and effort in building and maintaining meaningful relationships with others. Building and maintaining meaningful relationships with others is crucial for your overall happiness and well-being. By investing time and effort into fostering social connections, you can experience numerous benefits. Firstly, having strong social connections provides a sense of belonging and support. When you have people in your life who genuinely care about you, you feel valued and understood. These relationships offer a safe space where you can share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences without judgment. For example, having a close friend or family member to confide in during difficult times can provide immense comfort and emotional support. Additionally, social connections contribute to your personal growth and development. Interacting with others exposes you to different perspectives, ideas, and experiences. Through meaningful conversations and shared activities, you can learn new things, broaden your horizons, and gain valuable insights. For instance, engaging in discussions with people from diverse backgrounds can challenge your beliefs and help you develop a more open-minded approach to life. Furthermore, social connections enhance your overall happiness and life satisfaction. Spending time with loved ones and engaging in enjoyable activities together can bring immense joy and create lasting memories. Sharing laughter, celebrating achievements, and supporting each other's goals and dreams can significantly enhance your well-being. For example, going on a hike with friends, attending a family gathering, or simply having a game night with loved ones can all contribute to a sense of happiness and fulfillment. Lastly, Fostering social connections can also have a positive impact on your physical health. Research has shown that individuals with strong social support systems tend to have lower levels of stress, improved immune function, and a reduced risk of developing mental health issues. For instance, having a close-knit group of friends or participating in community activities can provide a sense of belonging and reduce feelings of loneliness, which in turn can have a positive impact on your overall health. In conclusion, investing time and effort in building and maintaining meaningful relationships with others is essential for your happiness and well-being. These social connections provide a sense of belonging, support, personal growth, and joy. They also contribute to your physical health by reducing stress and promoting overall well-being. 
So, make it a priority to nurture and cherish the relationships in your life, as they play a significant role in your overall happiness and fulfillment. Lesson 3. Prioritize self-care. Take care of your physical and mental well-being through regular exercise, healthy eating, and sufficient sleep. Taking care of your physical and mental well-being should be a top priority in your life. This means making sure you are engaging in regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep. Regular exercise is crucial for maintaining good physical health. It helps to strengthen your muscles, improve your cardiovascular health, and boost your immune system. Exercise also releases endorphins, which are natural mood boosters that can help reduce stress and anxiety. Whether it's going for a run, taking a yoga class, or simply going for a walk, finding an exercise routine that you enjoy and can stick to is important for your overall well-being. Eating a healthy diet is equally important for your physical and mental well-being. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins provides your body with the necessary nutrients to function properly. It can also help prevent chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Additionally, certain foods have been shown to have a positive impact on mental health. For example, foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon and walnuts, have been linked to a reduced risk of depression. Sufficient sleep is often overlooked but is essential for your overall well-being. During sleep, your body repairs and rejuvenates itself, allowing you to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Lack of sleep can lead to a variety of health problems, including increased risk of chronic conditions, impaired cognitive function, and mood disturbances. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night to ensure you are giving your body and mind the rest they need. By prioritizing self-care and taking care of your physical and mental well-being through regular exercise, healthy eating, and sufficient sleep, you are investing in your long-term happiness and overall quality of life. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish, but rather a necessary step towards leading a fulfilling and joyful life. Lesson 4. Practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness meditation or other techniques to increase your awareness of the present moment and reduce stress. In lesson number four, you are encouraged to practice mindfulness in order to enhance your awareness of the present moment and alleviate stress. Mindfulness involves being fully present and attentive to your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, you can cultivate a sense of calm and clarity in your daily life. One way to engage in mindfulness is through meditation. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit or lie down. Close your eyes and focus your attention on your breath. Notice the sensation of the breath as it enters and leaves your body. Whenever your mind starts to wander, gently bring your attention back to your breath. This simple act of redirecting your focus to the present moment can help you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions. Another technique to practice mindfulness is to engage in everyday activities with full awareness. For example, when you are eating, pay attention to the taste, texture, and smell of the food. Notice the sensations in your mouth as you chew and swallow. By savoring each bite and being fully present, you can enhance your enjoyment of the meal and reduce mindless eating. Mindfulness can also be applied to stressful situations. When faced with a challenging task or a difficult conversation, take a moment to pause and observe your thoughts and emotions. Instead of getting caught up in negative thinking or reacting impulsively, try to approach the situation with a sense of curiosity and non-judgment. By being mindful of your reactions, you can choose to respond in a more calm and thoughtful manner. By incorporating mindfulness into your daily life, you can develop a greater sense of self-awareness and reduce stress. Whether through meditation or mindful engagement in everyday activities, practicing mindfulness allows you to fully experience the present moment and cultivate a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Lesson 5. Set meaningful goals, identify and pursue goals that align with your values and bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Setting meaningful goals is an essential aspect of leading a fulfilling and purposeful life. When you set goals that align with your values, you are more likely to feel a sense of purpose and fulfillment in your pursuits. To begin, it is important to identify your values. 
These are the principles and beliefs that guide your actions and decisions. For example, if you value creativity and self-expression, setting a goal to learn a new artistic skill or start a creative project would align with your values. Once you have identified your values, you can then set goals that reflect them. These goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart goals. For instance, if you value health and well-being, a smart goal could be to exercise for 30 minutes, five days a week, for the next three months. Setting meaningful goals also involves considering the bigger picture and long-term impact. Ask yourself how achieving this goal will contribute to your overall sense of purpose and fulfillment. Will it bring you closer to living a life that aligns with your values? Will it have a positive impact on your well-being and the well-being of others? Furthermore, it is important to regularly review and reassess your goals. As you grow and evolve, your values and priorities may change. It is okay to adjust your goals accordingly to ensure they continue to align with who you are and what you want to achieve. By setting meaningful goals that align with your values, you are more likely to experience a sense of purpose and fulfillment in your life. These goals give you direction and motivation, and they provide a sense of meaning and satisfaction when achieved. So take the time to identify your values and set goals that reflect them, and watch as you embark on a journey towards a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Lesson 6. Embrace optimism. Cultivate a positive mindset by reframing negative thoughts and focusing on solutions rather than problems. In lesson number 6, you are encouraged to embrace optimism and cultivate a positive mindset. This involves changing your perspective on negative thoughts and shifting your focus towards finding solutions rather than dwelling on problems. One way to embrace optimism is by reframing negative thoughts. Instead of automatically assuming the worst in a situation, try to find a more positive or neutral interpretation. For example, if you receive criticism at work, Instead of feeling defeated and thinking you are a failure, reframe it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. By reframing negative thoughts, you can avoid getting stuck in a negative mindset and open yourself up to more positive possibilities. Another aspect of embracing optimism is focusing on solutions rather than problems. When faced with a challenge or setback, it is easy to get caught up in the problem itself and feel overwhelmed. However, by shifting your focus towards finding solutions, you can approach the situation with a more proactive and positive mindset. For instance, if you encounter a roadblock in a project, instead of dwelling on the obstacles, focus on brainstorming creative solutions and seeking help from others. By doing so, you can maintain a sense of optimism and increase your chances of finding a successful resolution. Overall, Embracing optimism involves actively choosing to see the brighter side of things and directing your energy towards finding solutions. By reframing negative thoughts and focusing on solutions rather than problems, you can cultivate a positive mindset that can lead to greater happiness and success in various aspects of your life. Lesson 7. Practice acts of kindness. Engage in random acts of kindness towards others to boost your own happiness and well-being. In lesson number 7, you are encouraged to practice acts of kindness towards others as a way to enhance your own happiness and well-being. Engaging in random acts of kindness can have a profound impact on your overall mood and satisfaction with life. When you perform acts of kindness, you are not only benefiting the recipient but also yourself. This is because acts of kindness trigger the release of feel-good hormones in your brain, such as oxytocin and dopamine. These hormones are responsible for creating a sense of happiness and contentment. For example, imagine you are waiting in line at a coffee shop and you notice the person behind you is having a bad day. You could choose to perform a random act of kindness by paying for their coffee. This simple gesture not only brings a smile to their face but also gives you a sense of fulfillment and joy. Acts of kindness can take many forms from helping a stranger carry their groceries to volunteering at a local charity. The key is to make these acts genuine and selfless, without expecting anything in return. By focusing on the well-being of others, you are able to cultivate a sense of compassion and empathy, which in turn boosts your own happiness. Moreover, practicing acts of kindness can also improve your relationships with others. When you consistently show kindness and generosity, 
you create a positive and supportive environment around you. This can lead to stronger connections and a greater sense of belonging. In conclusion, engaging in random acts of kindness towards others is a powerful way to enhance your own happiness and well-being. By performing selfless acts and spreading positivity, you not only bring joy to others but also experience a deep sense of fulfillment and satisfaction in your own life. So, go ahead and embrace the practice of kindness, and watch as it transforms both your own happiness and the world around you. Lesson 8. Find meaning in adversity, look for opportunities for personal growth and learning in challenging situations. In life, we often face difficult and challenging situations that can leave us feeling overwhelmed and defeated. However, it is important to remember that these adversities can also present opportunities for personal growth and learning. By embracing these challenges, you can discover new strengths and develop a deeper understanding of yourself. When faced with adversity, it is natural to feel discouraged and want to give up. But instead of succumbing to negativity, try to shift your perspective and look for the lessons that can be learned from the situation. For example, if you encounter a setback at work, rather than dwelling on the failure, you can choose to see it as an opportunity to improve your skills and become more resilient. Adversity can also provide a chance for self-reflection and personal development. When you are faced with a difficult situation, take the time to examine your own reactions and emotions. This self-awareness can help you identify areas for improvement and allow you to grow as an individual. For instance, if you find yourself becoming easily frustrated in challenging situations, you can work on developing patience and resilience. Furthermore, Adversity can teach us valuable life lessons that we may not have learned otherwise. It can push us out of our comfort zones and force us to confront our fears and limitations. For example, if you have always been afraid of public speaking, facing this fear in a challenging situation can help you overcome it and gain confidence in yourself. Ultimately, finding meaning in adversity is about embracing the opportunities for personal growth and learning that these challenging situations present. By shifting your perspective, reflecting on your own reactions, and embracing the lessons that can be learned, you can transform adversity into a catalyst for personal development and a source of strength. So, the next time you face a difficult situation, remember to look for the silver lining and embrace the chance to grow and learn from it. Lesson 9. Cultivate resilience. Develop the ability to bounce back from setbacks and adapt to change by building resilience skills. In life, setbacks and changes are inevitable. They can come in various forms, such as losing a job, experiencing a breakup, or facing a health issue. These challenges can be overwhelming and leave you feeling defeated. However, it is important to cultivate resilience, which is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and adapt to change. Resilience is like a muscle that can be developed and strengthened over time. It involves having a positive mindset, being flexible, and having the ability to problem-solve. When you cultivate resilience, you are better equipped to handle adversity and navigate through difficult times. One way to build resilience is by reframing your mindset. Instead of viewing setbacks as failures, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. For example, if you didn't get a job you applied for, instead of feeling defeated, you can reflect on what you can improve for future applications. This shift in perspective allows you to bounce back stronger and more determined. Another important aspect of resilience is being flexible and adaptable. Life is constantly changing, and being able to adapt to new circumstances is crucial. For instance, if you are faced with a sudden change in your work environment, such as a new boss or a different team, being open to change and adjusting your approach can help you navigate through the transition more smoothly. Resilience also involves problem-solving skills. When faced with a setback, it is important to assess the situation, identify possible solutions, and take action. For example, if you encounter a financial setback, you can create a budget, explore new income opportunities, or seek financial advice. By taking proactive steps, you are actively working towards overcoming the setback and adapting to the change. Building resilience takes time and practice. It is important to remember that setbacks and changes are a part of life, and it is how you respond to them that matters. 
By cultivating resilience, you are developing the ability to bounce back from setbacks and adapt to change, ultimately leading to a happier and more fulfilling life. Lesson 10. Seek experiences over possessions. Prioritize experiences and moments of joy over material possessions, as they tend to bring longer-lasting happiness. In lesson number 10, you are encouraged to prioritize experiences and moments of joy over material possessions. The concept behind this is that experiences have the potential to bring longer-lasting happiness compared to material possessions. Think about it this way, when you buy a new gadget or a fancy car, the initial excitement and happiness may be intense, but it tends to fade over time. Eventually, that possession becomes just another item in your collection, and the happiness at once brought diminishes. On the other hand, experiences like traveling to a new place, attending a concert, or spending quality time with loved ones create memories that can last a lifetime. For example, imagine you have the choice between buying a new designer handbag or going on a weekend getaway with your friends. While the handbag may bring temporary satisfaction, the memories and experiences you create during the trip will stay with you for much longer. You'll have stories to share, inside jokes to laugh about, and a sense of fulfillment that no material possession can provide. Additionally, experiences have the power to shape your identity and personal growth. When you engage in new activities or explore different cultures, you broaden your horizons and gain a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. These experiences can lead to personal development, increased self-confidence, and a greater sense of purpose. Moreover, experiences often involve social interactions, which are essential for human happiness. Sharing experiences with others strengthens relationships, creates bonds, and fosters a sense of belonging. Whether it's going on a road trip with friends or attending a cooking class with your partner, these shared experiences enhance the joy and create lasting connections. In conclusion, lesson number 10 emphasizes the importance of seeking experiences over possessions. By prioritizing experiences and moments of joy, you can cultivate longer-lasting happiness, personal growth, and meaningful connections with others. So, next time you have the choice between buying something material or embarking on a new adventure, remember that the experiences you choose will bring you more fulfillment and happiness in the long run. Thank you for watching Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. If you found these lessons insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more condensed wisdom. Stay tuned daily for more.